Hey everyone, welcome back to BioInfo Tips. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the world of statistical significance, and I'll show you how to effectively communicate it in your graphs using GraphPad Prism. If you're a scientist researcher or student working with data, this tutorial is for you. Before we jump into GraphPad Prism, let's quickly recap what statistical significance means. In the world of data analysis, it's a way of determining whether an observed effect or relationship in your data is likely real or if it could have happened by chance. Visualizing statistical significance in your graphs is crucial because it helps your audience understand the reliability of your results. It adds a layer of credibility to your findings and makes your data more interpretable. Whether you have your data in a spreadsheet or another format, Prism makes it easy to import. Click on File then New and choose the type of data you're working with. Import your dataset and let's move on. Now that we have our data loaded, Let's analyze our data to check if we have any statistical significance and between which groups. In order to do that, we perform Shapiro-Wilkes normality test, followed by the respondent ANOVA, or non-parametric test. The ANOV denotes different degrees of statistical significance between each group. One of the ways to display them is to represent the difference between a specific group and the other ones by a specific symbol. In this example, the differences between group A and the other ones are denoted by asterisk, the ones between groups B by a cardinal, and the ones between group C by the Greek letter delta. However, feel free to choose any symbol, although the asterisk is the more consensual one. Alternatively, when you have the same degree of significance between one group and the other groups, you can simply denote it with a line above the groups with the corresponding statistical symbol. In addition, when you have group data, instead of using different symbols, you can connect the groups that are statistically significant and use the same symbol above for every statistically significant difference. There you have it, folks. You've now mastered the art of denoting statistical significance in your graphs using GraphPad Prism. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see. Until next time, happy graphing!